site. Sometimes you get some pop-ups, which are annoying. Close the pop-ups. This will load. And you can actually just click download now. And you see you're getting it from a different source. Sometimes you have the pop-ups that are really annoying. But you deal with it. And oh, I closed that too quickly. Let's get that back up. Now let's say Easy TV doesn't have what I need. Let's say I want to download this episode of Lord Law and Order. Let's see if I can find it on Minionova. So I'm going to go to Minionova. Hopefully this will load pretty close, pretty quickly. And sometimes when you've got high traffic going, some sites will, some some torrent sites will load a little slower. And we'll be patient. We'll see if that'll pop up. Um, in the meantime, I have three three torrents running. So you see, I've got an estimated time remaining for this to load, for this to finish downloading. It tells me how many peers I'm connecting to. This one hasn't connected yet, so I don't see anybody in my list. So hopefully this will connect pretty soon, and American Dad's getting going. Now, the longer your torrents are running, the faster the their speed will climb. Okay, there we go. So what I'll do is I'll type law and order at the top, and I'll hit search. And hopefully what will happen is I'll get the most, the newest results right here. Okay, so what was I was looking for? So um, season 8, episode 4. So you see that is the newest one. Now, <clears throat> you'll get a lot of different returns. So I've got different variations going on here. Some are 720p, um, some are different places. So Minionova is really good because it's an aggregate site. What it does is actually searches or it searches other websites or other people are adding um, their torrents onto here so that to, they can link to their website. So you've got ads for ilovetorrents.com or torrentsource.org. So there are a ton of torrent sites out there. But Minionova and EasyTV are sort of what I stick to. Um, what I'll do is I'll arrange it by seeds, see who's got the greatest seeds. And this will be an old episode. So let's see if I can go down and find the one that I'm looking for. And if I can't find it easily, what I'll do is I'll actually type up here, I'll type CIS08E04. I'll hit enter again. And there you go, this is everything that I've searched for. Now unfortunately, I'm not finding anything I'm liking. This is much too big. And this P means it's from a private website. I've got to sign up for a different website. I don't like that. And this is only 72 bytes, so that's a little fishy. That's probably not right. So what I'll do is I'll close this for now. And I'll just go over here and download it from Law & Order from Easy TV. And that'll add. And that goes as well. So I've got those three going. Those four going now, rather. Now let's say I want to download something other than a TV show. So I'm going to go back to Minonova, and I'm going to search. Once this loads, I'm going to search for a movie. Let's search for Independence Day. It's really good. It'll auto complete most of your searches. It'll try and guess what you're doing. And if there's anything good over here. All right, so this seems like the only one with seeds. If this list was really long, I could arrange it by seeds. But I see that 21 is really good for me. This is a really old movie, so this is more than 10 years ago. So I'll click on this. And once that loads. Um, that'll finish after I click down with this torrent. And it'll auto, auto prompt me again. And I'll see if that's in the list. Now, after a while, um, these will finish and I'll be able to enjoy the content. What I'll do is I'll just go to my downloads folder. And they'll be ready. So you see, Simpsons has already started transferring. And it's just a 5% now, but it says only one more hour remaining. So once that would be finished, um, all I would do is after having installed VLC, I could right click, get info, and make sure this is set to VLC. If this isn't set to VLC, I think by default it's set to QuickTime. So what I would do is, what's going on over here? So let's say it was set to QuickTime by default, I would click on this pop down, go to other, I'm having a little trouble here. <laughs> And go all the way down, find VLC. Find VLC. And then go VLC.app. And then always open with. And then add. 
Uh, you just change all the associations and then say yes, 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 yes. And once that's done, can close that. And I'm good to go. And I see like American Dad and Family Eye get started now. So if I take a look over here, yep, they are in fact. So getting started a little bit. Okay, and that's all there is to it. So once you're finished, um, you double click these, VLC would launch, and you'd have your downloads done. Um, I think that's all there is. So a couple considerations to make. Make sure that uh, you're reading through all of these. You can make sure you have the right file type, the right file quality, right file size, right language. Um, make sure you are capping your upload speed. You don't want to be uploading too much, but also be considerate of others and make sure that you're um, seeding after you finish downloading. So once your download is finished, don't just quickly remove it from the list. Um, you'll see here you might be able to find the ratio. Um, usually you can just maintain it over here. So make sure that you're downloading as much as you're uploading, so I'm not like, breaking the ratio right here. You can actually change this to total ratio. So I'm only at 0 0.3. So I want to make sure I'm at least 1.0. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope this has been helpful, and uh, until next time.